Okay, we've got the Gigglebot assembled. I wanted to point out a couple of key features around the Gigglebot and give you a short walkthrough. First, at the front, we'll see these two blue eyes. When these are blue, they will that means that the batteries are strong enough to support the Gigglebot. If you have low power or low battery, uh, these eyes will turn red. They can also be programmed using the uh, make code and other programming languages. In front of those eyes are light sensors, and those can be used to follow, say, a, a, a flashlight or a strong light. We've got one and the other here. We've got the line follower for following lines that are on the floor. Up front, we've got the power button where we can turn the power to the robot on and off. You see when it starts up, the lights turn on and then the program starts running. We've got the micro bit already in the micro bit slot. The micro bit is facing forward. It has the two buttons and these two buttons are towards the front. You can put this in backwards or forwards. If you put it in backwards, you won't see any response. This is backwards. But if you put it in forwards, you'll see the, the uh, Gigglebot responding to the program that's on the micro bit. Behind the micro bit, we've got a few of these Lego holes. We've got a few up front as well. And these can be used to attach different parts. We've got some evenly spaced throughout the body. If you want to build something with 3D printing or attach Lego technique parts, that's what these holes are for got two servo controllers here. You can slide them on and then they'll control servos that you can attach to your Gigglebot to give it arms to help it move things um, and do other fun stuff that you might do with servos. On the back we've got a caster wheel that supports the back of the robot. Looking at it from the bottom we've got two I2C ports here. These are sensor ports. You can plug in say a Dexter Industries distance sensor or a light and color sensor. We've got two of the uh, robot wheels and motors here. And these were attached, you see that in a previous video. We've got the bottom of the pen holder. And then we have um, where we store the three AA batteries. You can see the pen holder sits right here. It could go through and it sits directly between the two wheels and could drag a pen around on the paper.